Welcome to my R2D2 build. Uh, I picked up this light from our local hardware store in Australia called Bunnings, but I think you can get this same thing uh, at IKEA. Um, from here to here is uh, 400mm. I think R2D2 is actually 450mm, but this is the closest I can get. This thing's painted black, but it's made of metal, which is really handy. So that's where you want to start. You've got to start with your dome, otherwise everything else will fall to crap. You don't want to build the whole thing and then find that you can't find a dome to fit. So start with your dome, get that right, and then uh, move on from there. As you can see, I've marked out the blue sections. This is where the light was in the dome, which I've taken out. This section here is blue, and these are the flaps that pop up. Uh, and they're also blue on top of R2-D2, and I'll show you how to get all these measurements now. All right, the first thing you need to do is get as many pictures of R2-D2 on the internet that you can find for reference photos because you need to learn how to scale. If you can't scale, you're never going to get this build done, okay? Now what I did is to get these circles, that circle there, then this one, and then this one, to where the bottom of the flaps are, you need to work out how to scale compared to your dome. So if you've got a 400 millimeter dome like I have, I measured from here to here, which obviously is like 230 or something like that, you divide 400 by that measurement, so you divide your dome measurement by that measurement, and it gives you a figure, maybe 2.1 or, you know, depending on your picture, 3.5, whatever. And then what you do is you measure from there to there and times it by that measurement you just got from when you divide it. So if it, it ended up being 2.1, you would measure from here times 2.1, and that will give you your circle size. And that's how you scale. And you're going to need that all the way through this, so practice is perfect. Doesn't matter what picture you use, once you work out that magic scale number, everything else will fit. Once you've got your scale measurements of your circles, which is from here to here and from here to here, they're a straight measurement on the picture, whereas these are a domed measurement, so the measurements are longer, so it's harder to work out. So what you do is you've got your straight measurement, so one of the circles happened to be from here to here, the same size. The other one on mine was a DVD cover, case cover, and the bigger circle end up being a bucket. And these are great because they sit over the dome. So your straight measurement stays the same, even though it goes over the dome. It's a good place to start. The best place to start is with your biggest circle. So you put that on top. And to make sure that's level, there's two ways you can do it. You can put a mark down here, and then a mark down here, and then take it off. And with a piece of paper, you can start on your mark, work up to your hole, and make sure the measurement's the same on each side. And once you work out that centre measurement, you do a measurement, you go across this way, and then this way, then you can put your bucket back on and draw the circle around. Or, you can put, make sure this is on level surface, you get a level, make sure it's level, put that on top, whoops, put that on top, make sure the top of the bucket's level, both ways, and then you'll know your circle's in the middle. You do exactly the same with the other two circles as well. That one, and then that one. A lot of complicated ways of getting these segments, people are stressing about how to get them, and it's actually quite easy, I'll show you how to do it you want six equal segments. This is my piece of paper. Now all I did was take my bucket, put it on the piece of paper, and draw around it to start off. Okay? Once you've done that, you don't even need to find the center at this point. You just measure across the center of that circle, so from one end to the other. In my case, it was 270 millimeters, so I know that halfway is 135. So to demonstrate, you do this. There's your circle, whatever it ends up being. You know that halfway across there, in my case, was 135. All the way across to 270, halfway to the centre is 135. You just put your ruler on and measure it. Put a mark anywhere on that circle. Measure a straight line with your ruler across from here to here to 135. From here to here to 135. From here to here to 135. Here to here to 135 like that and you'll end up with exactly six equal segments. If your last measurement's not 135, you're just gonna have to make sure you, you adjust it slightly. Then you just draw a circle through the middle, like so, like that, and you'll end up with your center point exactly in the center. If it's not, if the lines all don't intersect in the center exactly, you'll know you did it wrong. But as you can see, mine are pretty close. Then all you have to do, in my case, those gaps there were 12 millimeters, I just measured six mil off each side, six mil of it off side, and draw my lines through. And there is my six segments. And you say, well, how do I get those segments onto the cone, onto the dome? Then you put your bucket on top. 
If you look down the side here, I've marked all the way around where those points intersect with the pen. You take your bucket on top, put it up here like this, back on your circle, and you see there's all my marks sitting there like that. Once you have those marks down the bottom here, all you have to do is get a piece of paper from that mark up to the outside edge of your circle up the top there and then draw your line. Just draw down the paper like that. As long as your line goes through the middle, if you see it goes right over the top, it'll go down the other side on the other line too. As long as you go through the centre of your dome, those lines will always match up and they'll always be equal. And there you go, there's your six points.